Once again, it's time for weather, and today's been good. It's been warm, but the dry air, it's okay with me. But we're slowly but surely heading back toward chamber commerce-like weather, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. Are you ready for another cool-down, Neil? That's yes, the I question. am. Hallelujah. He always is. Okay. I am. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Cool-down. I know Casey's excited. I, I do like it when, I, when I'm at home and I have my fireplace. Yes, yes. I understand. Yes. Well, it is coming in time for the weekend. We are going to see the cooler temperatures move in. More on that here in just a moment. Let me show you, though, how the month of September has ended in terms of rainfall. It has been a very wet month for us. Several tropical systems along with a couple of cold fronts bringing in some pretty decent rain. Look at the total for Tyler Pounds Regional Airport over 10 inches. That is a surplus of almost seven inches of rainfall that we have seen this month. Longview has had a surplus of just about two and two thirds. The grand total for you at six inches in Lufkin. We've had about three and nearly one third of an inch, but your departure in the negative category Category. Not by much, though, only at about eight tenths of an inch. Here's the kicker, though. The Tyler uh, Pounds rain total of over 10 inches goes on record for the third wettest of all time. The number one record set back in 1913 when there was more than 13 inches of rainfall. Today, a dry day breezy as well. That southwest wind responsible for the warmer temperatures that we saw this afternoon. A few of you got close to 90. I'm sure the car thermometers read near 90 because of all the sun. Now the sun's beginning to head over the horizon temperatures into the mid and the low 80s at this point. We will see those temperatures and even some 70s coming in for tomorrow. And that's because of a cold front that's now approaching Oklahoma City for tonight. Behind this front, there is a pretty potent round of cooler air that's associated with it. We won't necessarily see the cooler air funnel straight southward early on tomorrow. And actually will be Friday that we will notice a bigger change in our temperature. So ahead of this front, we look for a milder night tonight. There will not be any 40s compared to the last two mornings for your Thursday, mid and upper 50s, even a couple of spots maybe near 60. So a mild start tomorrow and a cooler day in the afternoon. We'll see our top temperature around 82. Our wind northeast at 10, maybe near 15 miles an hour. Let me show you what Futurecast does. That front comes through dry, maybe just a few clouds, but certainly no precipitation. But the cooler air really will begin to settle in late on Thursday night, heading into Friday morning, and that will set the stage for another round of colder temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to our north on Friday morning into the lower 50s and Friday's temperatures during the day. Absolutely fantastic. If you love the fall weather, we'll be in the 70s, maybe some areas in the 60s for highs on Friday afternoon. We get to the weekend, a few more clouds and ahead of another front. There might be a brief shower or a thunderstorm Saturday night into Sunday. That's mostly in northern areas. Wouldn't, wouldn't worry too much about that. And then here comes another round of cooler weather on Monday. So you get the idea. This up and down weather pattern will continue. Deep East Texas, you're warm tomorrow. We'll cool off on Friday and head into the weekend with a slight warm up cooler early next week, but indications by the middle of next week, we begin to warm up again, heading toward the mid and even some upper 80s by late next week.